Hello everyone. Today we're out on Val de Boa and we're going hunting for some big Ibex. So we're going to be using the inline muzzleloader with the 45 Sabbat bullets and we also have the Parker Python with us. So if we see any huge Ibex that are between 150 and 200 meters away, I might take a crack at them with the Parker Python and I also have some tracers with me. So that'll be pretty cool if we can get some big ones. All right, here we go. So we're gonna be starting off hunting today at this tent that I have located here. And the coordinates are X3292 and Y negative 2064. Now I would tell you how to get here, but it's gonna take a long time. All I know is somehow you have to come up from this ledge over here and there's a way that you can crawl up from the bottom of the hill and um, sneak over here and I think you have to bring a couple med kits with you but eventually you can figure out a way to get here and put up a tent and I think somebody has a video on how to get to this spot so if you figure that out then this is where you need to put your tent so the best place to hunt I think is basically you sneak up this hill and there's a lot of pretty big ones I've seen in these areas here all around the mountain and you can only get them from up on top of this mountain so basically I like to go to the top of this mountain here and kind of view all the way around this area here and even down here sometimes you can see them from here too alright guys so we just found our first ibex and it is a male not too big but not a bad size about 170 score so we're going to sneak up to this edge here and take him out with the inline muzzle loader. So he's right at about 100, 120 meters away. And we're not going to be able to take a prone shot because he is uh, a little bit too far downhill. Alright, here we go. Alright, he's down. So we have our first Ibex. Now we just have to figure out how to get there. And I think this is where the uh, med kits come in handy. So if you're lucky you can only use one or two. Sometimes you'll end up using three or four trying to get down this hill. Going to get our Ibex. And we just died. So you want to roll a little ways and then use your med kit now. Oh, all right, that worked out pretty good actually. Yeah, it's interesting. You kind of need to be a little bit to the left side of them. It seems like every time I fall down this hill to get um, an animal that I want, I always roll to the right side of the animal. Shot him at 116 meters and he scores 177.3. So we have left lung on him. Not a bad one for the first one. All right, so now that we're down here already, we could continue on down here and look along these woods here, because this woods is a pretty good area too, up here. But I think what we're gonna do is fast travel back to the tent and get up to the top of this mountain so we can observe a lot better. All right guys, so now we're heading to the top of this mountain. And if you look at our hunter mate, you pretty much want to be right dead center in the middle of the mountain because there's kind of a ridge where you can walk right up all the way to the top. So you don't want to go too far left or too far right. You have to be right in the middle. All right, guys, so we just made it to the top of this mountain top. And this is kind of what it looks like from up here. You can basically see all the way around you. And we do have an Ibex out here at about 100, 150 meters away but it's a female. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Oh, look at that. So we have a male that might be in distance here. Might be able to see him. He's out there quite a ways. Somewhere over there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see this one. I think he's just over. 
Oh, there's one right there. If that's him, it doesn't look like he's much of a male, because can't really see any horns on him from here. That's the male. Yep. So there's our male there. It appears to be alone. I was hoping maybe he'd be with the group, but doesn't look that way. Well, let's take a shot on him. See how far he is here. Got about 120 meters away. He's kind of behind a rock though. I don't really like that very much. Well, we might be able to squeeze one in there. Yep, he's down. And he scores 171.1. .1. So not bad, we have two 170s now. All right, now let's see if we can't find a big one. Well guys, we found another male, but he's not a big one, but I think we're still gonna take him out anyways. He's at about 120. I think he went down. Yeah, I see some blood right there. Yeah, he's down right there. So he scores 170. All right, guys, so we found uh, another Ibex. Looks to be a medium-sized male. And we just spooked him out there. Well, he's quite a ways out there now. But we're actually going to go down that way anyways because we had another mail call before and we want to go check that out. So let's see if we can't put one in him. He's out there at about 120 meters. And he's down. Awesome. So now we need to get down the hill somehow. And we died. But we didn't really have any other choice. So now we're alive. And actually, right next to the last one that we just shot, I heard another male, but we couldn't get to it. So we decided to go all the way up to the top of this mountain. And basically we're going to have to burn a couple of med kits to get down it. But there's a chance that this other Ibex could be a pretty big male. I haven't seen it yet, but you never know. And we shot him at 123 meters. Him in the spine and left lung. And he scores 166. Oh, something just bolted. Got to make sure we can see it. I hear it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, right there, right there. Big black horn. Can't believe we didn't spook it. So I think what spooked was a different one? Either that or it stopped. Right there it is. There it is right there. He's right behind that rock. Big old black horn. This is what we're after. Oh, we have a perfect win too, guys. Let's see here. He's right at 141 meters. We're going with the Parker. I haven't shot this far in quite a while. So let's see if we can... See. There he is right there. Did we hit him? Oh, I think we shot a little high. Wow. 
quite a bit high actually. Should be a good hit. I think he turned around and started coming back at us. Yeah, he did. He turned around. Oh, so the wind is actually blowing at him, I believe. That's why we're shooting so high. Yeah, that's why we're shooting high. So we need to aim lower. So he's at 130, but we need to pretend like he's uh, like 100 meters, basically. So pretty much like right there. Just missed him. Well, let's mark where we last see him here. There he is there. Oh, I can still see him. Oh, I see him out there at about 200 meters away. All right, guys, he's out there at 211. I think we're going to try and hit him with the inline. There he is, there he is, there he is, guys. He's out there. Come on. Oh, my God, I think we just drilled him. He is hit hard. Oh, my God. That was a far shot. He's about 210 out there. And I had it held pretty good on him. I'm pretty excited to go look for blood. Three tracks. Hopefully one of them has blood in it. And there's blood here, guys. No way. Wow, that was probably the farthest shot I made with the inline. Look at the size of that thing. Two hundred forty-two point eight, and we shot him at two hundred three point nine meters. That's awesome. As you can tell, we're pretty excited. We finally found a big ibex. This is the first one that we found in this whole entire hunt, and although we didn't get to take it out with the Parker Python. We still made a pretty good shot with the inline muzzleloader, and he went down not too far away, so that's pretty awesome. He's on a hill now, so we'll take a pretty cool trophy shot, and that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.